When you are creating a calendar event, um, originally I wasn't sure how to make changes on this spreadsheet that would reflect changes on your calendar, but I figured it out and I'm going to share it with you guys. What uh, you'll notice, I've added a new column here and I titled it update and what I'm going to do is if I put an X in that column, that means I want, I've made a change in that uh, event, maybe homework, like let's, let's actually do this right now. Um, Let's say my homework, I didn't want to revise, but they were actually going to write the lesson 1.1 um, blog. That means I'm going to change this, and let's say I wanted to delete this. Um, X means I'm going to update that one. Delete means I want you to take that off my calendar. So a few things that you'll have to do um, to make this actually happen, you're just going to go up to set up mail calendar merge and you are going to turn on the calendar event feature by hitting that right there and you're going to say I want you to look at the update column and if the update column has an X then you're going to update the, uh, the events if the update column, change that to update, says delete you're going to delete that column and the place you need to look um, to see which event to actually do this to is the event ID column which column has the event ID? the event ID um, and then you'll save that and it's going to create a green um, little column over here. And the original one that I sent out to you guys had this column that had a comma that I thought was important. Apparently it's what's causing all the problems. Delete that column. And then uh, say I'm going to make this change to X right there where it says write and then delete this one. If you go up to, not, sorry, not set up calendar merge. Um, if you go now to perform manual merge and let's say that it says if you click on event update this shows you what's going to change um, it says that this one's going to be deleted and that this one's going to be updated now let's check first um, which dates were these these were for the 17th and the 15th so 15th says well I'm going to pull up the other calendar 15th says revise, and I'm going to be changing that to write Memo Blogs. And then the 17th, I'm going to delete that one. So let's see if this actually works. Um, I'm going to run the merge now. And you're going to notice that these little things on the event update populate right here. If I go over here and revise, I've got the 17th deleted, and now it says write Memo Blog. Um, but let's say you need to revise those again, those same ones. Before you can re revise them again, you need to delete what's in the update status, this new column that was created. Um, and then I'm just going to change this to revise. I don't want to actually delete that one. And then I'm going to go back to what the original plan was. Um, preview the merge. What changes are you going to make? It's going to update those. Um, this one may... Let me see if... Hopefully... Hopefully that doesn't have any problems. Let's run the merge. Okay, so that one might have a problem. Um, but what I can do is I can just, if I need to recreate something after I delete it, uh, I can just delete that stuff and then run the merge. And it says, okay, that's what you're going to create. Run the merge now. So after you delete it, you can't update it. You're just going to have to ev erase this event ID and event creation status and then redo the merge. But you can continually revise as long as you empty out or clear out the event status update and put a little X in there to say that you are revising. So I hope that's helpful and I hope that works out for your workflow.